David Cecil, 6th Marquess of Exeter, David George Brownlow Cecil, 6th Marquess of Exeter, KCMG, OLY 9, February 1905 22, October 1981, styled Lord Burghley before 1956, and also known as David Burghley, was an English athlete, sports official, peer, and Conservative Party politician. He won the gold medal in the 400 and hurdles at the 1928 Summer Olympics. Early life. Born near Stamford, Lincolnshire, as heir to the fifth Marquess of Exeter, Lord Burghley was educated at Institut La Rose in Switzerland and Eton College and Magdalene College, Cambridge. At Cambridge, he was president of the Cambridge University Athletics Club and a member of the Pitt Club. Athlete. A notable runner at school and at Cambridge, he continued with his athletics and won the British AA Championships in 120 YD from 1929 to 1931 and the 440 YD 400 in hurdles from 1920. And again in 1930 and 1932. Burghley made his Olympic debut in Paris in 1924 when he was eliminated in the first round of the 110-meter hurdles event. At the 1928 Summer Olympics, Burghley was eliminated in the semifinal of the 110-meter hurdles competition, but won the 400 meters hurdles, beating second and third-placed Americans Frank Kuhl and Morgan Taylor by 0.2 seconds. At the first Commonwealth Games in 1930, Burghley won both hurdling events and was also a member of the gold medal-winning British Forks for 140 yards relay team. In 1927-1930, Burghley also set several British records, one of which, 24.7s in the 220-yard hurdles, set in 1927, stood until 1950. In 1931, Burghley was elected as Member of Parliament MP for Peterborough. He was granted a leave of absence to compete in the 1932 Summer Olympics, where he placed fourth in the 400 m hurdles event, fifth in the 110 m hurdles competition, and won a silver medal as a member of the British 4x400 meters relay team, which set a new European record in the process. In 1933, Burghley became a member of the International Olympic Committee IOC. Three years later, he was elected president of the Amateur Athletic Association and chairman of the British Olympic Association. In 1946, he became president of the International Amateur Athletic Federation, IOF, and later acted as chairman of the organizing committee for the 1948 Summer Olympics. Between 1952 and 1966, he was vice president of the IOC, and was a presidential candidate in 1952 and 1964. As an IOC member and president of the IOF, Burghley presented the medals for the 200 m at the Mexico Olympics in 1968 and appeared in some famous images of the Black Power salute given by Tommy Smith and John Carlos. When later asked what he had thought of the gloves, he said, I thought they had hurt their hand. Politician Burghley was a member of the Conservative and Unionist Party and served as MP for Peterborough from 1931 until 1943. He was first elected in the 1931 general election when he ousted the sitting Labour MP J. F. Horobin. Burghley was returned to the House of Commons again in the 1935 general election. He was for many years chairman of the Junior Imperial League. Burghley resigned his Commons seat in 1943 when he was appointed Governor of Bermuda, a post in which he served until 1945. Family The Marquess of Exeter was a descendant of William Cecil, 1st Baron Burghley, Chief Minister, and, later, Treasurer to Queen Elizabeth I. On his death the title passed to his brother, Lord Martin Cecil. Lord Burghley married firstly in 1929, Lady Mary Theresa Montagu Douglas Scott 4 March 1904, 1 June 1984, fourth daughter of Sir John Montagu Douglas Scott, seventh Duke of Buckleach and ninth Duke of Queensbury, and Lady Margaret Alice Molly Bridgeman. They were divorced in 1946. They had four children, a son who died aged one, and three daughters.
He married, secondly, the war widow Diana Henderson, 1911-1982, granddaughter of Alexander Henderson, 1st Baron Farringdon, and had a daughter, Victoria. Great Court Run In June 1927, in his final year at Magdalene College, Cambridge, Burghley sprinted around the Great Court at Trinity College at midnight in the time it took the college clock to toll 12 o'clock. This inspired the scene in the film Chariots of Fire, in which Harold Abrahams accomplishes the same feat. The character Lord Andrew Lindsay in Chariots of Fire is based upon Burghley, but he did not allow his name to be used because of the inaccurate historical depiction in the film. There was never a race in which Abrahams beat Burghley in this feat, as the film suggests. In fact, Abrahams never attempted the great court run. He was the first to run the 367 meters 401 yards around the court in the 43.6 seconds that it takes the clock to strike 12 o'clock. Known as the Great Court Run, students traditionally attempt to complete the circuit on the evening of the matriculation dinner.